Justin and I are back here again with Flex MP, bringing another TRX Tuesday. Today it's all about a joint friendly TRX strength, conditioning, and mobility workout. So it's getting cold here in Rochester. It's getting to the point where people may not want to run outside or just not going to run as often or long and things just hurt. So if you're looking for something to be friendly for the joint, add some mobility, you don't really need to go out and buy a treadmill that might make things worse. You can honestly just get a pair of TRX straps if you don't have them. Do this work I'm about to show you, or even add this in with some stairs in your house. It's pretty cool. If you need more information on that, again, link below. Check it out, reach out. But here's the workout that is designed for you runners out there. Whether you're a weekend warrior, a competitor, or just like to get that good jog or sprint in. Anyways, we're gonna start out with probably one that you may know if you follow me, these sprinter starts, but we're gonna add a little more power to it. So, because you're gonna be missing out on that takeoff, especially for those sprinters. Now, if that's too much, then just take it down to here. And to bring the intensity a little bit, especially with some intense runners out there, we're gonna do all these for timed intervals. From there, we're gonna add a little bit of core, because it's important to have a strong core, especially for back, hips, all that good stuff. As a runner, so we're gonna get into a strong plank position. We're gonna put the foot into one. Now you could single handle mode these handles out, which I've shown in plenty of videos, but you could also just put that one foot in in both foot cradles. With this, we're gonna get some strong stability, push through, make sure we're not sagging here. And this is gonna make not only for a strong core, but gonna make for a strong back, stronger hips. As you know, we're getting some hip flexion here, but again, make sure you're feeling more on the abdominals, and we're just gonna do those cross climbers again with each side. But what's cool about that movement, you're also getting some stabilization work here. So if you feel weak in those areas, especially when you're running, we has got those tight hips. This is a great one for that. From there, we're gonna continue on to some core. So I'm gonna double up and we're gonna add some rollouts. So just come on up and you could shorten these, but you're gonna get in that strong plank position. And as you know with T-Rex, the more you walk back, the harder it gets. When you walk forward, it makes it a little bit easier. And you're just gonna roll out. Now I like to bring it more towards a letter Y instead of straight out. Again, make sure your hips don't drop. Another one that I don't like to see is this. People just keep their butt out there. Feel just like a surfboard is falling against the wall, like a piece of wood, just like that. From this, you'll definitely wanna bring those straps up. What we're gonna do is a curtsy lunge to a knee drive. You could even turn this into a pistol squat, but I'll show you a couple options here. So that curtsy lunge, knee drive. So this way we're getting some hip mobility, getting some single leg strength. You're feeling that glute, feeling that quad. And again, if you didn't know already, when you're doing any kind of running, like I mentioned yesterday on our Movement Monday, you actually need to work more unilateral, more single leg work. Because when you're running, you're actually mid-flight and you're using one leg at a time. So by doing movements like this, this is where you can find not only our weaknesses, but work those weaknesses and get more evenness between our leg strength. From there, we're gonna do some power pulls. So we've got our curtsy lunges, power pulls, and why power pulls? So a lot of people think to run faster, they need to bring their hands to their face, which you should be doing, but they think about going forward like you're pushing through. It's actually the key is, think about pushing that arm back like you're pushing against something. So if you wanna go faster, farther, farther, faster, <laughs> just push back. So one of those movements to get that are these power pulls. So this we are definitely gonna single out. So again, that's gonna strengthen us in this motion here. You're even out here, rotate up, quickly pull. Plus we're getting some rotational core strength. We're pulling that elbow back towards the hip like as if we were running. So that's why that one's thrown in there. From there we're gonna do front runners, a little bit of cardio, and again, stationary runs. And this really helps with the body's angle as far as running, even to the hips. It's joint friendly, so we get some indoor running here. We're getting some good core work. I like these way better than high knees. Trust me, it'll burn out, especially at the time or intervals that we got going on with today's workout. And then last but not least, we need to have a little bit more power, a little bit of explosive push. So we're bringing those handles to knee level. And one of my favorite, 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 favorite moves, these TRX Atomic Push-ups. So again, when we're in this plank position, keeping more of that hollow hold, so not sagging hips, pushing the shoulder blades, we're gonna reverse crunch, push up. And by this point of the workout, you're definitely feeling it. So it's really pushing through, just like you would at the end of a race. So not only is this, like I said, gonna help your mobility, help your strength, help your stability, 
help your power. It's gonna help your endurance too, because you're bringing some of the hard moves toward the end, just like in a race. It's not that we ever wanna slow down, but it's just gonna get you better when you're in race form. And again, if you're running in any sport, not just running, this is going to help. Now, if you need further information, education, thoughts, ideas for this workout or workouts of your own, for your personalized program to get towards your goals, especially as we're moving into winter, please click that link below. Again, it doesn't hurt to have a free conversation here over the phone, Zoom, or in person. We here at Flex MP are working with everybody across the country from California, down into Florida, even a few overseas. So we can help you wherever you're at, wherever you're watching this from. And again, we appreciate all you guys that have been tuning into our channel, especially during this interesting time. Again, thanks for tuning in. Click like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification to update to all of our videos. Take care.